Friday. Beautiful day. Fell asleep early last night? No worries. I got you. Here's the latest NBA headlines. The Brooklyn Nets, Stephen A., the Brooklyn Nets, the Kings of New York have dropped four straight. What? Falling to the Blazers, Bucks twice, and then the Mavs last night. Anthony Davis, he can't catch a break. After missing a couple months with a calf and an Achilles, Davis left the game last night versus the Clippers with back spasms. We'll have more on that in a moment. And then there's LeBron James, who says he's not 100%, and he isn't confident he'll ever be 100% again. Over the last six weeks, that's all I've been doing, is having the urgency to get back and play. Um, I knew I would, you know, you know, getting back to 100%, it's impossible. Uh, I don't think I will ever get back to 100% in my career. All right. So here's the good news, fellas. He is expected to be back on the court next week from that high ankle sprain uh, that's left him sideline of late. Max, yes. is LeBron James on the decline? You're asking me, Molly, if I've learned my lesson, not just with the cliff with Tom Brady, but once upon a time when KD won MVP during the regular season. And I said, well, wow, and he really deserved it. I guess LeBron's not the best in the world anymore. And then the playoffs came. He proved me wrong. He's still the best. And then Steph did it. Same story. The league has changed. It's Steph Curry's world. And they won 73 games, and then LeBron proved me wrong again. And most recently, Stephen A., I don't know if you remember, but let me remind you. I know your memory is fuzzy on these things. Um, I actually said that Kawhi Leonard was better than LeBron because LeBron was hurt, getting older. Kawhi just won finals MVP. And then the dust settled from the playoffs, and I was proven wrong again. So you would think, after being burnt by LeBron so many times, I would have learned my lesson, but you would have thought wrong. Uh. Um, it's straight from the horse's mouth. LeBron says... He doesn't think he'll ever be 100% again. And why is that relevant now? <gasps> well, in the regular season, I didn't think he was the best player in the world, game for game. I thought that was Embiid. And then, and, then I, and then I thought it was James Harden. And Stephen A., I don't see how the Lakers make it out of the first round, given all the injuries. He will not have the playoffs to remind everyone. And next year, he'll be 37. If James Harden, for example, comes back and is healthy, and the Nets go on a rampage, as I anticipate they will, and James Harden is the reason, given the way he played in the regular season, he may have taken the crown. I, I, I think LeBron is in decline by his own admission. <sighs> so, I, 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 you know, it's sad, right? I'm just, it, it's, it's, it's hard. I mean, there are so many times that I think his basketball, his, 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 the license to talk basketball should be stripped from him. It's just really amazing. If you're talking about there's a decline in the level of athleticism because LeBron doesn't have the ops on a continuous basis that he had when he was younger. Okay, I get that. But this would be the same Max Kellerman that applauded the greatness and accentuated the greatness of Michael Jordan because of how he adjusted once his athleticism diminished to some degree, but there were other elements that came shining from his game. He also applauded Kobe Bryant for the same thing. But we're ignoring that from LeBron James. LeBron James is averaging 25 and nearly eight assists and eight rebounds per game mm -hmm. at age 36 in his 18th season. He got his knee twisted up against Atlanta uh, a couple of months, uh, a month and a half ago. He's missed more than 20 games. We get all of that. And because of that, we're going to look at him and we're going to say there's a decline. We've already acknowledged that if LeBron James were healthy, first of all, they wouldn't be battling for some playing spot. If LeBron James were healthy, the Lakers would be a top three seed in the Western Conference. We all know it because that's pretty much where they were before he went down. We understand that. We understand it even with Anthony Davis and with the other pieces that they have on the Lakers, which isn't much. If LeBron was healthy, we'd be talking about, are they going to the conference finals? We know this. We know this. Max had them as his favorites to come out of the West because of LeBron James. And that was a month and a half ago. Okay, so all of a sudden he's out. Due to an injury, and the person that you had going to the finals, this slippage, it doesn't make any sense. Here's the reality of the situation. LeBron, a matter of fact, just yesterday, I talked about a bunch of names. Who did, Le who did Max Kellerman have as the best point guard in basketball? LeBron. He also had him as the that most would be. terrifying <laughs> player when you were off of Kendrick Perkins, who is going to join us. These are all the things that Max said. Now, I brought up stuff he said weeks ago. You just hot. You just uh, validated what he said 24 hours ago. Yeah. This is None of that's contradictory. Okay, so uh, again, the point that I'm making is you're talking about slippage. What slippage? 
in the end, your impact on the game, your numbers, what you bring to the table, all of those things matter. And last time I checked when it comes to LeBron James, it's pretty much the same, which is why we marvel at the man's greatness. All right. Max likes to touch hot stoves. That, that's what I heard many times. Kendrick Perkins, NBA champion, joining the conversation. Perk, get in on this. Uh, is LeBron on the decline? You just heard the two fellas. Well, well, first of all, Molly, I thought we already re we already addressed this, okay? And, and Stephen A., I don't know why you're getting so worked up about Max. You know, I had a saying a while ago about about maybe a year ago that if, you know, you put a bird in Kyrie Irving's brain, you know what the bird is going to do. It's going to start flying backwards, okay? And when you think about Max Kellerman, okay, and you take his brain and you put it in a bird and ask him something about the game of basketball, you know what the bird is going to do? It's going to dive straight down and start digging a hole into the ground. That's just where it's at. Because when you talk about a decline in your basketball game, that means that you're actually watching the game and you're seeing that LeBron James is not capable of doing what he has done in the past. And that's not the case. We're talking about a guy that we continuously talk about every single year saying, hey, he's getting older. And then all of a sudden we're talking about he's in the MVP conversation. How is he still doing this? How is he still dunking and snatching the screws out the rim? How is he still moving with brute force and great speed up and down the floor? How, he's, how has he elevated his game? We heard one of his former teammates one of his good friends in the NBA, a guy he won two championships with not so long ago, Dwayne Wade, come on, on, uh, come on national TV and say, this is the best basketball that I've seen LeBron James play. And this was at the age of 35. And this year, coming into this season, he was right there again in the MVP conversation. And all of a sudden, he sprains his ankle, Max, and you believe him? When he says that he would never be 100%. But, Max, let me give you something, okay? I grew up in the hood, okay? The country, all right? And in the country, sometimes you go to what you call, quote-unquote, little hood dice games, okay? And if you're not caught up on game, and I'm giving you free knowledge right here, they have this certain type, they have these certain players in there that may roll the dice and they just spin them. It's called locking the dice, okay? And if you don't catch them, they're going to burn you out of all your money. You one of them guys, Max. They'll tell you, hey, Big Purdy, bring Max with you every single time because we go get him. Because you wouldn't be smart enough to say, nah, y'all better shake them dice up and roll them up out there. You wouldn't be smart enough to catch that. So for me What's to come on here What's the dice game where you're from, blood, Perk? Yeah, but for me to come on you're here and get my Zillow? blood pressure up already early this morning, because you're believing what LeBron James said. You just don't get what he's doing, right? A sprained ankle? This is not an Achilles tap. Perk, this the is reason, not an ACL tap. Perk, this is nothing that's... I mean, I'm not saying it's not serious, but this is not something that LeBron James is not going to bounce back from. Max? All right, there's a, there's a bunch of confusion here. Apparently, I have to clean up. The reason the bird would start digging the hole in the ground is out of frustration, because no one seems to understand... Very simple stuff. If LeBron is in decline, it doesn't necessarily mean he's not still the best. Because LeBron was twice as good as anyone else when he was at his best. He may still be a little better than everyone else. Maybe. That's number one. Usually he has the playoffs to prove that. I don't think that's going to be the case this year. I don't think, I'm scared the Lakers aren't going to get out of the first round. That's one. Number two. Part of aging is injury. In fact, that's a lot of decline. Aging, in fact, is almost a code word for injury. Your muscles don't recover as fast. You get more brittle. LeBron never missed big chunks of seasons to injury before. And now, in two of his last three seasons, he's missed weeks and weeks and weeks to injuries. So, yes, that is part of the decline. Max Kellerman. I don't know what that looks about. First of all, let me, I will tell you what that look is about. Number one, somewhere along the way, Molly, maybe she needs to throw this in your ear since you don't hear it from somebody else. Somewhere along the way, Max Kellerman, if you repeatedly have to explain yourself and what you mean, maybe the problem isn't with those of us listening. 
Maybe it's with your presentation and delivery, which comes across a bit convoluted, dare I say, from time to time. It's you that has a problem stating the obvious. It's you that has a problem no, 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 being clear. direct. It's you that has a problem no. with being succinct and to the point. The bottom line is this. You just finished saying, I'll give you a perfect example. You just finished saying, LeBron James, just because there's some slippage, it doesn't mean he's the best. But on this show, we hear you raving about certain people. It could be Russ. It could be Steph. It could be Kyrie. It could be James Harden from a few minutes ago. It could be Kevin Durant. It could be Joel Embiid. It could sure. be the list goes on and on. And you've talked about how phenomenal and elite and great they are. But mm -hmm. you say LeBron has slipped, but he's still better than them. Well, damn. I mean, the fact of the matter is, is that, excuse me, where's the evidence that he slipped? If he's still better than the superlatives you threw on the individuals I'll, I'll you mentioned. Answer that. I'll answer that's not hard. That's not hard. In the second three, Pete, Jordan wasn't as good overall as he was in the first three, Pete. He was much more athletic in the first three, Pete. He was still better that's than not everyone else. That he was still better than everyone else. LeBron may still be better than everyone else, even in decline, even still. But usually he has the playoffs to prove it, and I don't believe he'll be able to prove it Are you not in the these one, playoffs. Are you not the one that when LeBron James got hurt, a couple of years ago, KP, 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 when the Lakers missed the playoffs, KP, Max Kellerman said he's no longer the best in the world Correct. because he was hurt and he missed it. And I said, Max, how do you dismiss it when you haven't played? When he comes back, let's see what he it's, does. You were like, no, he's no longer the best. But the Greek freak possible. was on Thursday, right. but by that Monday, he wasn't the best. Yeah, it's quite he possible I haven't continued. learned my lesson. Or it's quite yeah, possible it will finally catch skills. up with him. LeBron averaging you know 25 I points per game. That's only two less than his career average. Perk, you're going to be back with us later. We're not done with this. More good stuff. Yeah, I, I got to get into anyway, something else. Molly. I was okay. done anyway. <laughs> All right. Sit tight, though, because I need you later. Ryan Clark with some interesting comments about Aaron Rodgers that we have.